she tried to trick thousands, swindled many of them, and now at least one attorney general has had enough of Laura Lovren. The Dallas Morning News watchdog Dave Lieber has not cut this woman any slack since he first heard about fake newspaper subscription renewals. Dave, welcome back. How are you? Good. Okay, first, we need you to give us a recap of what this is all about. You talked about this with us before. Explain yeah. what it is she was doing. Well, this woman, Laura Lovren, she owns a business in Oregon, and she sends out thousands and thousands of renewal notices for magazines and newspapers all over the country, and they're fake. They, they, they're for two or three times the price of the actual subscription, and unknowing readers of our paper and the Fort Worth Star-Telegram, they are sending these into her and thinking they're going to get a subscription, and they're not. It's a, it's a real scheme, you know, and... It, it, and there's a real sense of relief here at the paper because we feel like our customers are getting protected, but not from Texas, though, from someplace else. Yeah. Well, you know, I have to tell you, before we move on, I, one thing I never understood about this story is how she was able to get away with it for so long and whether people were actually were receiving any subscriptions at all. Well, some people do get subscriptions. Um, if it's a $600 bill that she sends out and you pay $600, she'll, she'll keep $400 and send $200 to the newspaper. Ah. However, after I wrote this originally, people are writing me and saying, she never mailed my money in, so I'm, I'm not getting a paper and she took my $600. And these are usually elderly people who are falling for this because most newspaper subscribers these days who pay a year in advance are older adults. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's people that really can't afford to lose $600. Okay, so someone has finally filed charges. Yes, you know, she's being investigated by the Federal Trade Commission, by the U.S. Postal Inspection Service, by the Oregon Department of Justice, by the California Attorney General. But kind of clear out of the blue, the Wisconsin Attorney General of all places, Wisconsin, went after her recently. And he says, you know, you got to put, you got to stop this because our Wisconsin readers are sending money and we just, um, we're not going to put up with it anymore. And I hope it's the first of many hammers to drop on her. Yeah. Is this the only person you've been able to find who does this kind of thing? No, I, there are third-party magazine brokers all over the country that send you notices. I, I subscribe to about 20 different magazines, and so I get notices all the time, but I have to really work hard to make sure they're from the magazines mm -hmm. and not from these third-party brokers because their prices might be higher, and I don't really trust them. They have no affiliation with the magazine at all. So if this uh, case continues and the attorney general wins, is, is it likely that some people will get their money back? Yes, uh, I think that's the whole point is to give restitution. So, and I want I want to see the attorney generals all across America start to do this because they need to. She's collecting hundreds of thousands oh, wow. of dollars apparently, and 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 it's just pure profit. What really kind of amazes me about her is like she's living in a mobile home in rural Oregon. She's 37 years old. She has a husband who has a construction company that works out of their house, and she has a couple of kids. I've learned this from her Facebook page. And she doesn't seem like the Mr. Big kind of person that could run this. So I have a feeling that there's secret backers behind it, and we don't yet know who they are. So interesting. Okay, so bottom line here, give us some advice. How do you know if you've received a real renewal notice or a fake one? Well, you now have to do a little bit of work. So one tip off is if you get a bill in the mail and it's a lot more expensive than it should be, you, and you have the little radar in your head going off, you need to actually listen to it. So you need to call the newspaper or the magazine and say, hey, is this bill for real? I guarantee you the $600 bills they're sending out for the Dallas Morning News, our, our subscription prices are nowhere near that, you know? So check the price. Don't necessarily pay the bill just because it comes. And here's the most important piece of advice. We now have to keep a record of who we subscribe to, how much we pay them, and when the subscription expires. So I have a spreadsheet. I get four newspapers delivered to my house every day. I get those 20 magazines. I know when the subscription expires. I know how much I paid last time. I keep a record now. And when I get bills in the mail, I really, really look at them carefully. In this newspaper subscription scheme, she's having people send the payments to Nevada or Oregon. So if you're sending payments to those two states right there, that's a real, real click tip off that this is not right. All right, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you so much, Dave. Such interesting Thanks information. Thanks.